going to go over the steps to install an easy lock. This is their model E2. The latch can be adjusted to a 2 and 3 eighths or a 2 and 3 quarter inch back set just by twisting and locking it in the position you need it. When you're adjusting this to 2 and 3 eighths, if that's your back set, make sure you hold in the bolt while you push the latch together so the bolt stays in. To separate the two sides of the lock, remove the three screws on the inside half of the lock. Now remove the two screws on the mounting plate. On the outside of the lock, there's a bump on the tailpiece. Make sure that's facing up. On the outside half of the lock, there's a button you want to push towards the outside of the lock. Now you can insert the lock into your latch, and you're going to test that it works the latch by twisting it. On the inside half of your lock, push the button towards the outside, and now just put it onto the spindle to double check that the latch opens and closes. Attach your mounting plate with two screws and there's an arrow pointing down for the bottom of the mounting plate. Line up the button with this arrow and push it towards the arrow to lock the knob. Attach the inside of the lock with the three screws. When the button is pushed toward the door, it becomes a child safe lock. When you pull the button away, now you can twist to lock and unlock the deadbolt. When the button on the outside is pushed toward the door, you can't twist the knob to lock the deadbolt. You have to use your key to lock it. If you pull that away from the door, now when you leave your house, you don't have to use a key to lock it. You can just twist the knob to lock it. But you can't unlock it from the outside. You need to use a key. One of the unique features about this deadbolt is as you leave your home, you just turn the knob to lock it, but it won't open by turning the knob. You have to use your key. On the bottom of the knob, there's a button. If you press that button towards the door, it locks the knob so you don't accidentally lock yourself out. On the inside, you turn the knob to lock and unlock the deadbolt. On the E2 model, there's a button on the inside. When you lock the door and press that button forward, it's a child safety lock so the knob won't turn. When the child lock is on, it will prevent someone who has a key from unlocking it from the outside. The key is unique. It works in either position. 